um, it's a bit awkward really because uh, I do a lot of public speaking and I talk to a random number of people on a weekly basis but uh, this is a little bit different perhaps because I did this for a couple of months now and uh, we've organized all of that and then to see so many of you coming out for tonight's event is uh, very good, I mean it's, it's a little bit funny so uh, thank you all for, uh, for being here. Well, very good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of background on JLT residents uh, for you and the uh, dwellers that live here. They eat out or order food in about five times a week, and that's, as you know, a lot of food. All prepared by passionate restaurateurs and their teams. That's you guys, right? JLT Dining believes that it's time to reward the passion, sweat, and efforts put in by these restaurants many of which are family owned and let them get the recognition that they actually deserve. That's why they have come up with the very first ever JLT Restaurant Awards. Make it a pop. <laughs> JLT Dining was established just over a year ago and as an online directory, directory for restaurants, bars and cafes here in JLT. Online voting for the JLT Dining Awards was on the 1st of October and they've received 8,000 public votes during the month. Let's mention that. No. Following the public voting, the expert judging panel scrutinised the top ranked outlets in all categories and finalised the shortlist. The judging panel consists of Martin, who met us on a few moments ago, he's the CEO of SPS Affinity and the inventor of JLT Dining and the JLT Restaurant Awards. He's a seasoned hotelier and marketer in hospitality, leisure and tourism consultant. He has lived in Dubai since 2004 and worked in and around the JLT since 2007. When was the JLT actually opened? About there. About there, so it's right from the beginning. Martin was joined by Andres Mensch, the executive chef of the Sofitel Dubai Jumeirah Beach. Andre's culinary artistry consistently draws crowds to the hotel's restaurants and to the hotel's Friday brunch, Le Grand. The third judge, Samantha Wood, better known as Food Diva, is a publisher of the impartial multi award winning restaurant review, Food Diva, and the creator of the popular mystery. Dine Around Dubai. Hashtag Dine Around Dubai. Samantha has lived in Dubai for over 18 years and is also a writer, a food and beverage, digital consultant and speaker. The public search across the JLT Dining Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages for a JLT resident to join the ranks of the JLT Restaurant Awards judges yielded a large number of applicants. In the end, we selected Richard Stratton who's perhaps better known to many as a voice of Remix Rich on Dubai 92. Is Remix Rich here? No. He's on the radio. Like He's on the radio, of course. He's a long-time JLT resident and unbeknownst to many, used to be a professional chef, I didn't know that, with a string of successful restaurants launched under his belt. So an event like the JLT Restaurant Awards could not take place without the help of dedicated and professional sponsors and the partners we would like to thank the following companies and organisations. So, official PR partner, SPS, public relations. Official media partner, Food Shake Media. Official social media partner, SPS Digital. And here's a serious bit. The official legal partner, Bird and Bird. Let's start off with the platinum sponsors. Public Cafe, Anchor Trading, and Aroma, Ingen, or something like DNA One Films. Gold sponsors, Pitfire Pizza Dubai, Blossom Tree Flower Shop at JLT. Is that you guys? Don't get a little smile on your face, I'll have a look here. Silver sponsors, the localizer, Food Diva, Liquid of Life, over there. 
Matawe Coffee, Indu Indu Seafood and Grill, Wolfram Friends Lounge, and Service Excellence. All right, so we're going to start with the hotly contested section, the best American style pizza. The finalists are, I want to make sure they're on the screen behind me, Pit Fire Pizza. Wolf and Friends Lounge. And Shake and Shake. That's such a good name. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner up is. Wolf and Friends! Please do enjoy it. We need some less. And we'll just do the prize there just for the photographs. And the winner is. Best American Style Pizza goes to. Next up, a almost popular section. This is the best bar. And the finalists are Nola. Clearly, <laughs> French Pistol Bar. And the Nintendo Games DLT. The runner up is. Le Petit Beige, 
Crippley French Baseball and Bar. And Metos. The runner up, ladies and gentlemen, is Metos. There we go. Big congratulations. Photographs, please. And the winner is Crippley French Baseball and Bar. And we would like to welcome Chef Thomas Gregor to present the award. Welcome, Thomas. So the finalists are Pissarro, Cafe Confetti, and Robbie's The Hellenic House. The real up is Pissarro. We are representative here. So the winner is Lobby is the Hellenic yeah. House. So today we are all conscious about what we eat and healthy food. The best healthy restaurant award finalists are Mambo Gourmet. Mambo Gourmet Pizza, sorry, it's on a separate line. Wolf and Friends Lounge and Riches. And the runner up is Mambo Gorda Pizza. Okay, so the winner of this category is Riches. So moving on to another favourite, the best Italian style pizza. We would like to welcome Ashley from Food Shake Media to present this award. The finalists are Pitfire Pizza, Mambo Gourmet Pizza, and Pizarro. And the runner up, ladies and gentlemen, is Pitfire Pizza. And the winner of best Italian style pizza goes to Mambo Gomoy Pizza. Are they here tonight? So, wasting no time, we move ahead to the much coveted category the best Middle Eastern restaurant. This category has been sponsored by Anko Trading and Aroma Indian Asmati Rice. So, the finalists are something baked. Own Cafe and Bait Mayor. The runner up is Own Cafe. And the winner of the Best Middle Eastern Restaurant category is Bait Mayor. Next we have a varied category which was created to cover the multitude of cuisines that didn't fit into any of the other boxes. The best other category, that's what we're going to call it. The finalists are Are You Boy? Little Lahore and Wolf and Friends Lounge. So the best other category runner up is Wolf and Friends Lounge. Other category, it is Are You Born? So of course, whenever, whenever we dine, service is very important. So our next category is Best Service. And we would like to invite Sophie Picard Zinton from Service Excellence, he was at this award. Thanks, Sophie. The finalists are we get to get a JLT, La Cantina Cafe and Restaurant, and again, Ayu Bolin. The runner up is Ayu Bolin. No apologize. Ayu Bolin again, sir. And the winner is La Cantina Cafe. Now you get your award. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the pictures we got the one. 
So it's time to look at the best Southeast Asian restaurants. The finalists are Wokyo Noodle Bar, Indu Undu Seafood and Grill, and Better Week Cafe. And the runner up is Wokyo Noodle Bar. And the best South Asian restaurant winner is Metawe Cafe. So who doesn't love a good bit of street food? A popular category with everyone. The finalists are, again, Wok Your Noodle Bar, Naughty Junction, and Are You Boy? The runner up is Wok Your Noodle Bar. Now finally, he sends the wife, all right? And the winner is are you bored? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, our final award in the public voting category is one that we are sure we all want to know. It's the best sweet tooth award. The finalists are El Dolcino, The K Club, and La Cantina. The winner of his. El Colosino. Thank you. And for the best sweet tooth category, the winner is the K Club. There we go, taking the top prize, making no bones about it. The K Club, ladies and gentlemen. We are now moving on to the final three awards of the evening, which are not publicly voted, but are judged and awarded by our team of expert judges. First up, most unique concept. So here, the judges looked at concepts that are unique to JLT and cannot be found in the same manner anywhere else in Dubai. The runner-up is Cafe Funky Town. And the winner is Bake Million. Next is the best new restaurant. And the runner-up is Wolf and Friends Lounge. And the winner is Le Petit Belge. Now for the final and most anticipated award of the evening, the best JLT restaurant overall. The runner up is Mitos. And the winner tonight of the best JLT restaurant overall Ooh. is Bates Mayhem. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not here tonight. But listen, I want to say thank for a group photograph, please. All the runner ups and all the, all the winners as well. Oh, just some really, uh, Just let's just do this first. So can we just, before we go any further, all the winners